Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and uh, today I would like to present you this 10 years old kit that came with nystagmus, severe photophobia, decreased vision and watering. On examination, the vision was 660 with minus 0 0.5 diopter sphere. It became 618. The intraocular pressure was 25 in both eyes and on the slit lamp examination, there was peripheral vascularized cornea and thickened central cornea complete absent iris on slit lamp examination there were lenticular changes specifically posterior subcapsular cataract and fendoscopy showed hypopigmented fundus absent foveal reflex so all these findings suggested that my patient is having an iridia so today's topic is an iridia the grandfather and mother had also had history of severe photophobia and decreased vision so it also relates to the aniridia in the family so family history was positive and that's very important because two-third cases are autosomal dominant and isolated aniridia is present no systemic involvement one-third are sporadic and among those Sporadic cases, 25% are associated with Willem's tumor. Uh, Weger syndrome. Weger syndrome contains Willem's tumor and iridia, genitourinary and mental retardation. And 2% are autosomal recessive and associated with cerebellar ataxia, mental retardation, and they are called Gillespie syndrome. So you should be well aware of all those associations while examining the case of uh, an iridia thank you uh, still in uh, very engaged despite positive family history you should always rule out Willem's tumor by ultrasound abdomen pax 6 gene is involved so you should remember also so an iridic Keratopathy consists of uh, increased central corneal thickness, uh, superficial vascularization, limbal stem cell deficiency, progressive corneal opacification, and conjunctivalization. So, for uh, mild keratopathy, artificial tears during the daytime and ointment at night, and if severe keratopathy (AMG), amniotic membrane grafting can be done. Photophobia is due to complete absence of iris, but actually rudimentary iris stump can be localized by gonioscopy and ultrasound biomicroscope. For photophobia, relief, tinted glasses, sunshades, avoidance of the outdoor activities during bright sunlight, colored iris contact lenses and artificial iris diaphragm implantation can be done. And if cataract is dense enough, cataract surgery can also improve vision. But zonules are also weak in an iridia, so surgeon should be well prepared to use capsular tension ring and implant colored spatial intraocular lenses with incorporated artificial iris diaphragm to cope with photophobia and cosmesis. Glaucoma is present in majority of cases. And the angle is open initially, but the rudimentary iris stamp can also cause angle closure. Initially, it can be well controlled with topical anti glaucoma drops, but usually later in life, uh, these patients need trabeculectomy with or without mitomycin C, and also sometimes later on, they would need glaucoma drainage devices. Nystagmus, as you can see clearly in this patient, uh, he is highly photophobic uh, and nystagmus uh, also indicates uh, poor visual development uh, due to foveal hypoplasia. In our patient, foveal hypoplasia was present. Uh, there was lack of foveal reflex by direct ophthalmoscopy. There was decreased pigmentation uh, and the vessels uh, were crossing the foveal avascular zone when the vessels were are crossing foveal avascular zone that also indicates foveal hypoplasia our patient uh, was uh, myopum with minus 5 diopter sphere he was uh, 
getting 618 correction so myopia is also present in almost 65 percent of patients and he was amblyopic because his best corrected vision was 618 not 66 so amblyopia is also present in 35 percent of cases and you can do amblyopia therapy as well uh, you can also give him uh, colored uh, photosun refractive glasses so uh, for the relief of uh, and if the vision is uh, very reduced if the vision is reduced then low vision devices for, uh, can also be prescribed for the patient uh, because uh, sometimes uh, the vision is not that much good as in our patient